And, you know, you've both been working in the good wife slash fight universe for over a decade. So Michelle is really curious, you know, like, what is it like to say goodbye for like, what could potentially be the final time? Um, we will miss the characters a great deal. Uh, fortunately, I am not going to say we'll miss the actors because <laughs> they've become friends and we still speak to them and I look forward to seeing them, but watching the news every day and not having a place to tell those stories is going to be rough. Definitely. And, you know, I think, uh, these final episodes certainly from what I've seen feel like a fitting conclusion. And so Robert, I was very curious what made you both kind of want to end with, um, um, season six. Uh, we thought this, the, the, each year we find some theme to play out through all 10 stories. Last year it was a Mandy Patangan character starting his own court, is playing off this idea. January 6th was creating this division in the country where everybody was running their own law. This year it felt very fitting to be about civil war because I think there are a lot of books about the coming civil war and there's this sense the bifurcation is getting worse between the left and the right. So that just seemed like so, you know, apocalyptic it seemed like a best way to end you know seven years of a show that was getting darker and darker about what's going on in the world of course yeah definitely and um you know i think liz and diane's relationship too is definitely feeling the effects of that in this season and then you have richard come in who throws a bit of a wrench into that dynamic so michelle i was curious what made you guys want to play with uh liz and diane's relationship and dynamic in that way well we've always been uh, in love with that relationship and to see how it progresses. And there is a deep respect there, even when there's distrust. And so we like seeing where they get to at the end, which I'm not going to spoil for you, but uh, we feel good about it. Definitely. And, you know, we've got some familiar faces, of course, popping up all over the season. It was very exciting to see a few, you know, so was that kind of a concerted effort, uh, Robert, to, to say goodbye to kind of not only just the people of the good fight, but the, the universe as a whole? I think so. I mean, when you got, uh, you know, Carrie Preston coming back, playing Elizabeth Tassioni, Alan coming back, playing uh, Eli Gold, you just kind of see, OK, where are they now? And what is a fitting goodbye to them? You know, and I think both have a very fitting goodbye. Also, David Lee with Zach Renier coming back. You just kind of wanted to see people that we've seen now for, God, 13 years. It's like we've grown up with them. How do we end with them? What are you going to say? And what's nice is the, the other characters are ex as excited to see them again as we are. You couldn't believe also the actors on the set how exciting they were for Alan coming back and Carrie, you know, she even directed an episode. So I think that would felt like a homecoming for everybody as we're, you know, going through the final gate. Of course. And, you know, there's that looming threat of violence that's kind of hanging over the, this season, we've got the protesters outside and stuff. And then, you know, Diane's rosier than ever because of what she's going through. So what was that kind of like environment like on set, you know, Christine's I'm sure kind of leaning in and then everybody else is kind of on edge. I think you're exactly right. It was this very much like Christine was getting sillier and sillier. Her character is getting sillier and sillier. And yet we're seeing violence, like the real blood. You know, this is a show that is not really dealt with blood on screen. It's always blood being talked about. And now violence is really on the, you know, right there. And the theme this year was how much you get used to it, how much you get used to things that, one day it's like, oh my God, they're killing people. Second day it's, oh shoot, they're killing people. Well, I guess don't make the bus. So I do think that was the theme this year. So it was a very comic, dark comic element. Definitely, yeah. Well, I loved what I saw. Thank you both for your time Thank today. You. It was Thank great you. speaking with you guys. 